morning everybody, Michael Sims, Fishing Pro Staff, Valor Outdoors TV. Got a little tip for you this morning. I'm getting ready to head to Hartwell next week to fish a tournament, a uh, national championships tournament. I'm usually a river fisherman with muddy water, big baits, uh, pad crashers, that kind of thing. Hartwell is a completely different story. A lot of that lake is very deep and very clear. So in order for me to be effective in fishing, I need to make sure that my line is tied correctly and that I'm using the right size and the right weight. So fishing deep water, I need to go with a, a very, very thin line, but still be able to set my hooks. So with water that deep, skipping Nico rigs under the uh, docks and stuff, I need to be able to see my line move. So what I've done is, is I've taken and bought 30 pound Power Pro yellow braid, okay? And I'm gonna connect that to six pound Daiwa Tattoo Floral. And it doesn't really matter what size your braid is and doesn't matter what size line you have, you still can connect them with this knot. Now, it's either you can connect it with an Alberto knot or you can connect it uh, with a nail knot splice or however you wanna do it. This little tool can help you do that and do that pretty quickly and ease and give you uh, the strength, not the knot strength that you need. I used to bat, I used to trout fish and steelhead fish in Washington State, so I grew up fly fishing. I bought this for fly fishing to connect my fly line to my tippets. This makes it very simple when you're out on the water and it's very hot and your hands are all sweaty and, and fatigued from fishing for a long time. I can't do it without this. So this is very simple. Each one of these tires comes with its own uh, with its own instructions, and you can get just about you can get them just about anywhere. So what you do is you take your braid and your mono or fluoro, and you overlap them about six inches. Okay. And you take your tie, not tire your tie fast. As you can see, it has a thumb where you put your thumb and then it has two little uh, groove right in this end. So what we wanna do is we wanna take our line, we wanna put it in the channel, and we wanna trap it with our thumb on the thumb trap. Okay, very simple. So what we do is we take both those lines and we pull them down into that fork. Now, what we'll do is we'll take the one tag in, and we will take that and we gotta get it trapped a little better than that. There we go. So it doesn't move, and then we're gonna wrap it one, two, three, four. After the fourth one, trying to make it so you can see it, then we're gonna take that line, and we're gonna pass it up underneath those turns to lock it in place. So we push it up underneath there, Pull it like that, okay? So now it's th back through the same air, the same end we were through, and all we do is we just take a little pull, and we pull it off. Don't pull it tight, just pull it snug. Okay, there's your first knot. Then we take the whole rig, we turn it around. Your knot is on the other side of the channel. We put it back into, on the thumb, and we trap it and we put it down into those forks like like before okay then we take our other tag in which on this case is going to be our fluoro then we take our fluoro gotta trap it there we go take our fluoro and we go one two oops and if it comes off no big deal just take it and you start wrapping again. One, two, three, four. So now I got my four wraps as I did before. I take that tag in and I go back in the channel and I run it back out the end. Try to get it on my shirt so you can see it. Back out the end that we originally started. We take that, we pull it up and we just slide it off there like this, and don't pull it tight, just snug. So once we get snug, 
Then we take both ends out. Now you got what it looks like this, okay? So your two tag ends are loose. All you do is you grab a hold of the, the non-tag end side and the line side, and you just pull, 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 and pull those tight, okay? You can see that? So once that is done, then all you do is on your tag ends, get as close as you can to your knot without hitting your line or fraying your line. Snip it off and take your braid. You wanna do the same thing. Like so, and there you have it. It's not gonna break. It's gonna slide through your eyes really easy. And it's a strong knot. That way you don't lose those $10,000 fish or whatever it is when you're in a tournament. Very important that you tie that knot right to be successful when joining braid and mono. The tie fast knot tire I've been using for years. It's a good tool to have in your toolbox. Thank you very much. Michael Sims with Valor Outdoor TV.